go. Yeah, I think we're fine. Who do I want to use for this final boss, or just for the rest of the playthrough? I don't know, maybe part of me wants to use the SSS, to be honest, just because it fits. Also, I'm like, I don't know. I think I'm choosing between... It's either I use the SSS or I choose between Estelle and Joshua and take out one of the SSS members. But even then, I think I'm tempted to use the SSS. But also, if I don't just use the SSS, I take Randy or Tio out for Estelle or Joshua. Probably Joshua. Let's just see what lies ahead. I think I'm just going to use the SSS, though. I don't know. Let me wait, wait, wait. Let me let me see something. Astraya, bow staff that can smash boulders glows with a faint light. Let's just use the SSS. I think. That's my decision. We got to use a cell and Joshua to get him out during the dungeon. Oh, is this the end? This looks like a point of no return. This looks a lot like it. Should probably look at accessories. Like again, after Garcia. What do you do with a boss other than just a final boss that wouldn't just be like redundant or padding the game out? Like, you can't be like, oh, hey, you fight Ernest and you fight Garcia and you fight like a random monster or something. Like, that'd just be kind of underwhelming. Rent's faint. NCP faster. That's fine. I could see an evasion up. Lane? Skill blue. This is even better. Put this on. That prevents like three status ailments. This is pointless though, because I already have the stellar pendulum. Do that because you can get a bit more ATS. They're preventing... I mean, you're, you're like a demon. It's like a demonization thing, so they might have insta-kill. This is pointless because you already have the Grail Locket. Although, most of these are status ailments... ...preventions, so it's kind of hard. The only thing I could possibly put on you is like a proxy puppet. <laughs> Yeah, this is fine. I think I'm fine with this. I think I'm okay with this. Actually, you know what? Can I steal this EP Cut 3 from Estelle and put it on, like, Tio or Ellie? Probably Ellie because she has Thunder Cyclone. Other than that, I think we're fine. Yeah. Yeah, this is fine. What is this place? An underground lake. Feels like this ruin just gets bigger and bigger. Everyone over there. This looks like a Breath of Fire 3 location. Kind of like the, uh, oh, what's that place called? The Angel Tower or whatever? Like the end of the childhood part? I think that's what it's called. It's been a minute. Oh, that's pretty sick.
That's the thing we saw in that photo of Kido. Now we finally know where that photo was taken. I think I remember a big dark place. There's a light above me. It's pretty. It's pretty, but a little scary. She was trying to describe this place, wasn't she? <laughs> Indeed, she was. Joachim Gwenter. When did you show up? Just from a glance, I can tell this guy isn't normal. Welcome. It is my honor to entertain such illustrious guests. Ladies and gentlemen from the special support section, as well as the two rising stars of the Bracer Guild. Allow me to welcome you to the holy ground of our origin. Damn you. You look pretty calm, considering we're about to kick your ass. Yoshim Gwenter? I'm gonna cut to the chase. Release everyone who's been brainwashed by Gnosis now. We may not know how you're doing it, but we're positive you're the one behind it all. Sure, I'd be happy to. What? I told you my terms back at the IBC, didn't I? Hand over Lady Kia and everything will come to an end. Enough with your bullshit. We never, we'd never hand her over. You're looking for a fight, you bastard. You truly are the sickest individual to have ever, ever existed. Man, who knew a, a, a jokester, like a, like a, what do you call it? Not, not jokester, like, a laid-back doctor who was obsessed with fishing, who would be this, like, final villain. This guy's got the same twisted personality as the professor. Honestly, I should have suspected him from the start when he made me do the stupid fishing minigame. It was that obvious. Yeah, but even Weissman wasn't this insane. Oh, Weissman, that's a throwback. Oh, what a shame. You're making this conversation harder than it needs to be. Lady Kia has always been our divine child, the center of our humble organization. It's so unreasonable that we would want the object of our warship back. Do you think we aren't aware of what happened six years ago? We'll never let you have Kia ever again. Tell us already. Tell us the truth about Kia, her parents, her true identity. You have to know where she came from. <laughs> ah, you simple fools. You're still clinging to the misguided assumption that Lady Kia was born in this era of what, she's like from the past or something? Or the future? Time travel? This era? Very well then. Divulging this information to those who haven't achieved wisdom would normally be prohibited. But allow me to provide enlightenment for you poor lost souls. Until just a month ago, the divine child was asleep. In that cradle you see resting at the top of the altar. And it was there that Lady Kia slept since this room was first created 500 years ago. That's not possible. Cut the bullshit. Surely you can't be that surprised. While modern technology cannot hope to achieve wonders like this, it's easily done with the gifts of ancient Zemerians. 500 years ago, there lived a group of alchemists who gathered in this land with the intent of studying artifacts. Records say that this very altar was built using their powerful technology. The same alchemist that constructed Stargazer's Tower, I bet. I had no idea all these places were related to each other like this. As I said, Lady Kia has been in this slumber since those ancient times. However, not even the highest ranking members of our order know of her true origins. That's the story of the Divine Child. I can't believe this. What the hell, man? I thought we'd be able to help Kia find her past together. Come now, let's go all the long faces. Lady Kia doesn't need a past. Because after all, soon she will take her rightful place as the true god. What did you say? God, you heard me. All of you need to open your eyes and see the truth of this world for what it is. Adios, the goddess of the sky. There is no such thing, excuse me. Why can't you understand that her very existence is a fabrication created by the Septian Church? Have you lost your mind? I can't believe there are people who genuinely doubt the goddess. This is interesting, because I don't ever recall seeing this side of the spectrum, because like Adios is like a common... Adios is a common thing in Trails, like, Adios is a common, like, the goddess, like the goddess Althena. And in Lunar, they have things like this where, like, oh, there are people who do not believe in Althena, anti-Althena, especially Lunar too. So this is interesting that we're getting to see, like, people that do not believe in Adios at all, and they're like, oh, there's no goddess, you're, you're crazy. That's a, that's an interesting <laughs> angle to go in. This is the truth that DG faithfully preaches. 
However, we're often misunderstood. You see, we don't worship devils at all. Quite the contrary, actually. We simply make use of the iconogra iconography because it's convenient in our fight to deny the very concept of this goddess. Fighting fire with fire, so to speak. You can't be serious. That's really the truth. Why did you do all these horrible things to me and all the other children? All of them. Our anguished screams never stopped echoing through the halls. And there were even worse lodges than the one I was in. Places where even more horrible things were done. So if you really aren't worshipping devils, then why? Why did you do all those things? Tiosuke. Tiota. Tio Plato. I remember you well. An Altair, an Altair Lodge test subject whose suburb sensory receptivity was almost miraculous. I'm truly fortunate to have been able to meet such a splendid test subject of ours like this. I guess this is a good time to ask, then. What was the goal of those inhuman rituals you performed six years ago? Goodness, you still haven't figured it out? I thought you were supposed to be a detective, Lloyd. Each and every one of those rituals served the greater purpose of enhancing Gnosis towards its final perfected form. The willpower and hidden potential that blossoms when one is brought to their breaking point? That kind of data was a necessity if we wanted a perfect Gnosis. The reason we used children for our test was simply because it was ensured more accurate data. We see test subjects that have yet to reach puberty are in various aspects. No. That's enough! Have you no shame, you monster? Never thought I'd meet someone more screwed up than my family. Dang. Also, Estelle and Joshua are just here. Joshua and Gwenter. Based on everything we've heard, you must have been the person responsible for organizing these experiments all over Zemiria, right? Precisely. However, our order never placed much importance on hierarchy. Because you see, we're all equals under our true god. To be honest, I don't give a crap about whatever your cult believes in. You know about that place, don't you? Paradise? It was one of your lodges, wasn't it? Paradise? We saw that name before. It was mentioned in the Black File. Oh, you know of its existence then. Oh, it's like the Promised Land Trails version? That particular lodge was created at the behest of the most powerful members of the Order. Okay, not really. They'd invite influential figures cater to their most depraved fantasies and use that as leverage for the Order's benefit. Truth be told, though, that lodge deviated from my research principles, which I did not appreciate. So it's true. Just like we thought. That answers another one of my another one of our questions. You lured Speaker Hartman to Paradise in order to coerce him into helping the cult, didn't you? That's it. There's our connection. I only began to truly understand what happened there after I poured over the results of every established lodge. After that aggravating operation six years ago, we nearly lost all of our previous lo precious lodges. Fortunately, we stumbled across the perfect backer for our cause, Speaker Hartman. Conveniently enough, it came with a nice bonus of Ravash and Co. Everything's falling into place now. And you manipulated the crossbow guardian force through the same connection, didn't you? Speaking of the Guardian Force, how'd you even get them to your to take your crappy drug in the first place? Oh, that was simple. The CGF commander is Speaker Hartman's prodigy, so I have him in the palm of my hand as well. All I had to do was pass Gnosis off as a new supplement developed at St. Ursula. It was a bit of a shock how easily he believed me, though. What a dumbass. How idiotic can one guy get? In regard to Paradise, there was one detail about its fall that was strange. Instead of being targeted by the same joint operation as the other lodges, it was destroyed by the secret society responsible for the incident in Liberal. Oh dear, just what were they thinking? Well, the destruction of Paradise only left me with one genuine regret. That being the loss of a young subject who demonstrated a remarkable level of adapt adaptability. Oh, she was simply a marvel. Through, her, her, through harnessing Gnosis, she can absorb the subject's personalities and manifest them into her own mind. The loss of that data was truly a tragedy. That's enough. We have what we came for. You can shut your disgusting mouth now. Sorry, Lloyd. We kind of took over your interrogation. <laughs> Not really. You guys aren't going to be in the final fight. <laughs> it's fine. Thanks to your help, I was able to draw a lot of conclusions about the case. And now I'm finally prepared to arrest him. Oh, we're going to have to fight him first, though. High Priest Joe Chimquenter of DG Cult. Which apparently is D, therefore, G Cult. But having to say that, like... So many times in the game is gonna get tedious, so. In accordance with state law, you are hereby under arrest on the charges of assault, disturbing the peace, unlawful occupation of property, drug use, and child abuse. That's a lot of things. 
Very bad man. Telling you is only a formality, but we have both a search warrant and an arrest warrant signed and approved. If you know what's good for you, don't resist. You lot are so intriguing. I have an idea. Why don't we make a wager? Which of us will be the ones who accomplish your goal? If the game was, like, focused on this whole theme of those who believe in the goddess and those who didn't, then I would actually care about this a lot more. His hair? And that's some sort of orbital staff. <laughs> ah, yes, this is my hair's true color. You see, as a result of repeated Gnosis consumption, my body has been altered somewhat. Or perhaps I've simply gone gray due to not getting a wink of sleep the past several years. Insomnia will do that to you. Hey, this ain't the time for jokes, you freak. You're telling me you haven't slept for years? I see. I will explain how you were able to do all this while working full-time at the hospital. <laughs> Perhaps you're a better detective than I gave you credit for, Lloyd. As for your question, Tia, the staff here is one of the orbital masterpieces created by the ancient alchemist of Crossbell. Power it holds out strips even the most dangerous artifacts. It's magical power. Allows me to command these creations as I please. Bastard. Are these... Archaisms from the Middle Ages, created with the power of alchemy. <laughs> Now I believe it's time for our finale to get underway. Today will be a day to remember a momentous occasion that will echo through history. The day that Lady Kia attains her true powers as a god and all of our desires will realize at long last. Enough with your delusions. We will never lose. Not to the likes of you. Inevitable struggle. First things first. See how much you have. Alright, less than Garcia and Ernest, but you have the Archaisms. They might have a good amount of HP. Oh, AoE moves! The last few bosses we fought were primarily single targets. But no longer. Probably thinking, Nova, why do you like AoE so much? AoEs make it easier to build SP for or CP. Or SP is Grandia. CP for the other characters, so that's why I'm like, yo, AoEs. <laughs> battle scope, battle scope. Anyway, this is a interesting concept. I kind of feel. I think I might have mentioned this, but I really like I, this whole demonization thing. Feels a bit out of left field to me. This could have been something you could build up in, like, Azure or something, but I feel like in Zero, it's a little bit out of left field. I kind of would have rather have been, like, oh, hey, maybe you can, like, build it up in this game, but I kind of wish this game, like, had more of a focus, and then, like, oh, yeah, at the end of the game, they could tease this whole demonization stuff and use it in, like, Azure or something. Maybe. Like, I don't think it's bad, but it's, like, I'm not crazy about it, I guess? Man, I think it's fine, but I feel like it's kind of too little too late. Calamity Sphere, oh dear. That looks scary. I guess the way to word it would be, like, they kind of pulled me in too late. Like, the, the, these last cutscenes being like, oh, this would have been an interesting angle. It's kind of like, oh my god, it's a lot of blood. These last few cutscenes are like... It's a neat concept, and I'm kind of like, oh man, I wish this was like, I wish this hooked me sooner, basically. Good count. Okay, we have to use arts on them. That's why one damage was there. Uh, I actually got to lower your defense, which I didn't think they would let me do, but cool. Should take advantage of that. Lloyd. You can counter from anywhere, that's illegal. That's illegal, my friend. Oh, we're muted. That sucks. Mute means I can't use any arts. Boy, you might die if he goes for you. 
unless I use Rising Sun. It's so rude that I can't just heal all three of us. Oh well. Let's do this because I think Lloyd's gonna die, or in case Lloyd dies. I have zero feel, but I'd rather wait till like everyone's low on HP instead of just Lloyd. Like if Lloyd dies, then I let Lloyd die and get him up. Zero feel should be used like when I'm in a pinch or something. He doesn't have much HP, but we have the arcade. Is that Tio's move? I mean, you have an horrible staff, you're gonna have a lot of Tio's moves, I guess. Which is fair. Okay, time is good here. Jochim, it's just anything, but the Archaisms are weak to time. 